Hello everybody and welcome. Today I'm going to continue working on the new T221. Um, as you can see here I have a new desk, looks much better. Anyhow, so the G5 didn't sync with it properly. Um, I will try now a few things. So first thing I'm going to take the PowerBook G4 with a dual link DVI port and see if it syncs properly using one dual link channel. If that doesn't work, I'm gonna get the G5 here booting on Linux. I have a, a, an image ready for it, I can just plug it to the Firewire and, and boot it up and see if that will do. So let's see. So the PowerBook is here. Let's get one of the dual link DVI cables. Now the power supply has to go in here. Everything is really, really tight around here. Okay, good. And it really forces the board. It's, I really don't like this. Okay, the power book, book, book battery of course doesn't work, so I have to restart it, and we've got something. Let's see what's gonna come out of it. Full screen, looks promising. This screen is very bright, looks like it hasn't had much use. All right, let's try. And it detects the full resolution. Full screen, but a very bad output. Is it gonna stabilize? And it's running at 31 Hertz. So, ooh, it's pretty smooth, actually. I cannot choose 60, but the image is very, very blurry. So, uh, maybe I just need to push the cable a bit harder. Let's try. Actually, it was beautifully at uh, 31 Hertz. Like, I guess the mouse is smooth and could be perfectly usable. It's very bright. It's quiet. I think the fan has been removed from this one. Uh, now I'm not sure. I think there's some interference patterns here around the edges. It is getting better. So it's something with the quadro. I'm gonna have to to look into it. But yeah, dual link DVI, single cable with the adapter. It's just working fine. See information here, the arrangement. Yeah, it's using the two inputs, I mean the two virtual tiles. So I guess that is it. A shame though the G5 doesn't want to handle it properly. Alright guys, it's now connected to the G5, you can hear the fan spinning top speed. Let's see what happens. Screen's coming on, full screen, but looks like 1920 by 1200.
right let's check it out okay guys so that has to be something with the quadro or maybe with uh, nvidia card the power book runs perfectly fine and unfortunately when i connect it to the g5 i get absolutely nothing i mean it works but it covers only half of the screen um I'm sure the Quadro has dual link DVI ports because it's synchronized at 31 Hz, but for some reason the signal is not being transmitted properly. So So yeah, I'm gonna just boot Linux up and I have two more tests to do then. Uh, well I'll try Linux. If not, I will take the cables from the View Sonic and connect it to the T221 without the adapter without the, the, the dual link DVI adapter and let's see what happens so I'm putting the G5 now and let's see if I get to the prompt to choose operating system oh, there we are 1920 by 1200 uh, it has detected the firewire disk with Linux, so I should be good to go. Although this thing always makes you wait forever until it detects absolutely everything. So let's just wait. I hope it boots up fine from the firewire, so let's do L for Linux. Seems to be good. Oh, resolution change. And half of the screen. So guys, I really think it's something with the Quadro. Uh, I'm gonna have to do some research and look into it. Very sad because I was planning to use this setup to go for the you know best 4k setup on PowerPC Max but I think I'm gonna have to go for the dual matrox boxes then uh, on the generation 3 view Sonic. I don't really have much time and energy at this point in, in my life to dig into this so I'll see how the screen behaves with my Mac Mini it should do 20 Hertz I think uh, which would be awesome and more usable and I may be gonna put the screen production then thanks for watching and uh, yeah till next time